Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will tell you a very simple use case about a model referencing block. So have you ever wondered uh, like if you have more than one model doing different uh, operations or different functionality and for some reason you have to combine those functionality into one model, how you can do it? Or another use case could be say for example that more than one model and you want to see the output of all those models together in one particular scope, how you can do it? So the model referencing is one of the best solution, one of the simplest uh, answer you can give for this approach. So let me explain you with a, a simple use case, a simple example here. So first I will open a couple of uh, inbuilt demo models provided by Mathworks. So VDP is one of them. VDP is nothing but it is for vendor pole equation. This, this particular model solves the vendor pole equation here. I won't go into the details of this particular model. You can just uh, read about this on the Mathworks uh, document. So when you simulate this model, you see, you get this capital kind of uh, graph from uh, number one and uh, uh, number two port. There are two different ports and which gives this particular kind of graph. Now let's have some kind of other uh, function, say for example, uh, uh, a kind of rectifier which uses S function. And if you simulate this, you will get another graph over here. So which is nothing but. Okay, it was on my other screen, so I'm moving it to my main screen. Yeah, so this is the output of my this particular model. So have you ever wondered if you want to say, for example, do certain operation together in with these two signals, or if you want to in very or rather a, a simpler uh, use case could be if you want to see those two outputs in uh, one scope just for comparison or to do some kind of analysis, how you can do it. So it, you can do of course manually, but if you want to do it programmatically, it may be a little, little uh, difficult. So the simplest approach could be to create a model, uh, another model and call this both the models to uh, model reference blocks uh, into that main model. So let's create one. So, so I open a new simulating model. Yeah. And in the simulating model to Create a model reference block. You to just uh, create a uh, type model, and this model reference block will be replaced. And then it's asking for the model name. Either you can give the complete path or just type down models. Because since VDP, <coughs> the first model which we entered here is in the path, it will automa automatically detect this model. You can verify by double clicking and going inside this that it it refers to this particular model. And we can again have a model and for this the model name will be sf underscore abs which is absolute so this is for the rectifier one abs yeah so now uh, these two models uh, these two blocks are nothing but a kind of like a pointer which points to this actual models now to keep it simple initially i'll just have uh, one scope where i'll see the output of both these uh, uh, models into this one scope yeah so if I simulate this let me first save this model by using some name so I just given model referencing dot slx here okay so now if I simulate it bingo so if you see both uh, this and this curve is coming into uh, this graph okay why we are not seeing a very smooth picture is because this is for 10 seconds and this was for the 20 seconds so we can increase the time stream and probably we should have a better picture a better plots yeah you can see so now when you uh, juxtapose uh, one plot over the other then you can clearly see the amplitude frequency matching with each other which is really a little difficult to uh, analyze it manually and if you are having lots of data then it's become more and more difficult now a further use case could be say for example if you want to add this signal with this signal and want to see the output what it happens so we'll just create a add block here and what we'll do is probably we'll just disconnect this one okay 
and we also have a connection here so please note that the middle one the second port is uh, the addition of uh, these two so i am expecting this uh, uh, plot the blue one from this which will not look like this so let's simulate and see what happens see so the blue one has increased in the amplitude that's because it's the addition of now this red plot and uh, the previous uh, blue plot which was uh, here so it never crossed three in this but it is crossed three so this is a very simple example i try to show that if you ever want to do some addition some multiplication or gain or some kind of a differentiation then this is one of the simplest way where you can use the output of more than one uh, model together do certain operation and see it over here collectively so i hope this video was useful to you before i end this video probably also let me show you that each model individual takes the settings what is there in that particular model it it uh, so if you want to do the setting you have to just double click and go to that uh, configuration parameter and do the setting respectively over there okay so yeah so i hope this video is uh, is informative to you and it helps to understand model referencing a very simple use case if you have any questions please please put them in my comment section if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you